Senegal resumed international flights on Wednesday, July 15, four months after shutting air traffic due to the coronavirus pandemic. An Air Algeria flight arrived in Dakar in the middle of Tuesday, with six other flights expected to depart and arrive throughout the day. Everybody wears a mask, and you have, of course, the fiscal distancing uh, rules, even at the seats where you rest. Passengers departing this West African nation are required to prove that they have tested negative for the virus within the past seven days. The certificate also has to come from a laboratory within the country where the trip originated from. Land and sea borders remain closed. Senegal lifted its state of emergency and curfew and imposed in March uh, or rather that were imposed in March to stem the spread of the virus at the end of June. The number of cases in Senegal continues to spike as more than 8,300 infections and 153 fatalities have been recorded since March 2nd. Joining us now live is Imor Edet, a journalist from Dakar, Senegal. Thank you very much for being a part of our program. Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Is it good news as international flights resume in Senegal? What do you? What's the mood like over there? It is a cheery news for everybody, especially for some of us who are waiting to see our families. Um, it's it's long overdue. Don't forget that the ECOWAS uh, ministers met in June and agreed that from July 15, airspaces can reopen as such. We saw Senegal opening theirs on Wednesday. We saw a couple of international flights coming in, and people are so eager to, uh, for those that were stuck here in the period of the lockdown, are so eager to leave Senegal. To, the excitement is on, and people are already, they've started booking and planning how to make uh, the international trip. So it's a welcome development for all of us here. Okay, and what is the situation, you know, as of today? As it is, we've had international flight landing, like you mentioned, Air Algeria launch its flight. And we also saw Air Senegal made a maiden flight to, um, to uh, the Re European Union, uh, following the lifting of ban for airlines from that region. And we have seen um, air agencies opening up businesses and uh, accepting booking fees at the uh, DSS airport and the main airport in the uh, uh, Kasamans region also, uh, you know, coming back to life. So people are really eager to see how this pans up, but not uh, without uh, some of the protocols that have been put in place by the aviation authorities. And part of the protocols is uh, for those coming in uh, for international flight will have to come with a certificate that will show that you are COVID-19 negative, and it must be within seven days. And then if an affidavit, a sworn affidavit uh, from maybe a national court in the in your country before you can be accepted into the country. And then if you don't have both of them, then you have to pay like 50,000 surfers, which is about um, 30,000 Naira before, uh, you know, for them to run a test for you there at the airport and then before okay. you can be allowed into the country. So those are some of the protocols that have been put in place for people arriving outside Senegal. Yeah, and, and also Senegal yeah. has been praised uh, for taking early action to curb the spread of COVID-19. Would you say the sentiments still hold as of today, considering the fact that the country still has cases? Yeah, so they try like uh, every other West African country to put measures in place, which include uh, the, the social distancing, wearing of face masks, washing of hands regularly, and uh, closing up down some businesses. But um, as of the uh, uh, first week of June, uh, late May, June, we saw a protest in, in the city center uh, because people were really tired of these measures. Just, uh, they didn't have a choice then to open businesses and uh, you know ease some of the, the measures, which includes the social distancing. So we saw clubs, we saw bars, and the payment centers, restaurants, all opening, uh, and then schools for those in their final year also resuming. So uh, things seem to be back to normal uh, at this other end here. But of course, on the street, you have to wear your face mask all the time. You can go to the market, you can go to the supermarket, yeah. you can do every other things, go to the park, go and exercise, go to the beach. Um, you know, but of course you have to observe all those measures, which include uh, the social distancing and wearing of the mask. So 
Things seem to have resumed normally, and the international flight uh, resuming was just the last thing people were waiting for. And now that that has happened, um, is life is back to normal for people here. All right. Um, Imo, Edda, thank you very much for your thoughts. Uh, do stay safe, and uh, very likely we will be speaking again as soon as possible.